Hello to Reseller One, my name is Gerard Horat and after a long time, welcome to our new video analysis on cryptocurrencies here on TradingView. So, um, what happened lately? Well, we have seen a very nice price stabilization in cryptos at the same time when US dollar index came to the downside with the US yields while the stocks rallied. Okay, so everything is connected, everything is driven by speculators' decisions or expectations of what fed may do next will they raise rates will be very aggressive and hawkish or maybe will they slow down a bit it will all depend on the next cpi data and of course also jobs data will be important in upcoming months as well because this is clearly what powell uh, mentioned in past meetings that they will be tracking the data okay so i think that if Inflation will be, again, strong. It means that, firstly, well, they should be even more aggressive and hawkish. It means that US dollar could see a spike to the upside. Cryptos will come, again, back to the downside. But then recession risk will be back on the table because technically they are already in, recess, or in, in the recession. If the inflation will come to the downside, it means, again, that speculators will think, OK, these uh, rates, uh, high rates works. It means that inflation came to the downside, so maybe they will not be that aggressive with hikes anymore in the future. So it, again, it means that US yields could come to the downside in line with the US dollar, and this could be positive again for Bitcoin. So no matter how I look at it, I think that US dollar in general could see a limited upside. Now, looking at this price action on Bitcoin from an Elliott Wave perspective, where there was very deep pullback 80, 70, or 90 percent of a pullbacks is usually it usually means that these cycles are in late stages. Okay, especially when you have um, this um, pullback lasting a few months. So I think that um, we could be trying to build a base here, very nice support definitely here at previous swing highs around 20,000. But if we suddenly break to a new low, then watch out for next big support around 14,000, where you have also this swing high back from 2019 and also where wave C equals to wave A. So generally speaking, I think that this is quite interesting uh, zone, but of course, volatility is huge here on cryptocurrencies. Now, looking here at this um, very nice chart as well, which is actually, um, which is a comparison of current corrective retracement to the previous one here back in 2020. And notice that there was a distance meaning in um, in price and in time, very similar, okay? So after this reversal here back in 2020, when the market rallied back above, um, back above uh, 6,500, 6, around there, 300, uh, there was a confirmation because of overlap with the previous swing low, there's a confirmation that lows are in, okay? Now here with the, the, today's example where, well, we should see a recovery back above 33,000 to make sure that we are building a bottom. So, of course, it's still a long way to run for this confirmation, actually, to that could open the door for much higher prices later on. Also, uh, I'm still keeping an eye on this um, on this gap, gap check map. Um, that's how I called it. So, notice that we were actually looking down here back to, for a move back to this um, December of 2020 gap. We are trying to build a base here now. Very interesting one is above here around uh, 28, 29,000, and then you have even 35,000. So if we can rally and fill these gaps, then at the same time, market would also make a confirmation or break this previous swing low compared to the one in 2000 back in 2020, which means that actually bottom could be in. Okay. Um, now. Also, from an Elliott Wave perspective, on a smaller time frames here, maybe this reversal is trying to build with a leading diagonal formation. So we'll see how it works. Of course, this uh, potential further upside here uh, is needed to break this trend line to make uh, to make these bulls even more confident here in the upcoming months. Uh, now, let me take a look also on the Ethereum. Now, well, Ethereum is very interesting here, in my opinion. Um, well, we have seen quite nice reversal to the upside and uh, notice that this reversal came after three waves down where wave C was equal to wave A. Also, if you look closely at this 
price action from the lows, well, I can clearly count five waves up. So that was wave one, wave two pullback, nice five sub waves with an extended wave three, which is a very typical formation within Elliott wave impulse. Then you have wave four setback and wave five already moved to new high. So I think that this is quite a nice structure. Of course, nothing moves in a straight line. So be aware that there can be some consolidation coming in. If that would be the case from the near term levels, which I would not be surprised since you are uh, moving here into this very choppy mess that was in play here through May and June of 2022. So we could definitely see some strong resistance up here. So be aware of a free wave setback and then more gains after this retracement. Of course, whenever retracement occurs, you should pay attention uh, to the uh, previous fourth wave termination points, which in our case was here around 1,560. And then you have here another $200 slower and the next very important support. Now let's take a look also on the AMD stock. And this talk, uh, as you know, this is very important for, especially for graphic credit, uh, cards, for graphic cards, uh, for miners. And you can see that there was quite a tight correlation here, obviously, because the stock market in general is correlated with cryptos. And what you can see here is that there was a very nice pullback on, on this stock. And notice that there appears to be like a nice fourth wave that is trying to stabilize at the previous fourth wave. Okay, there you have also the Elliott Wave channel support line, which is actually parallel channel taken from the upper uh, swings from waves one and waves three. So that's a perfect zone for a bounce. We are already seeing some very nice recovery. And if we see further gains here, I think that um, this Bitcoin or crypto market in general should stay bullish as well. Uh, and now let's take a look also on on US dollar. Uh, so as I said, US dollar is also obviously it has a lot to do with with uh, with plenty of markets. OK, so obviously it's the same for cryptocurrencies. And notice that I'm looking here at these very big uh, swings or cycles um, trying to project um, lows and highs of these multi year swings. And what you can see here that is that we are now running into very late stages here of this current cycle, current bullish recovery away from 2008 lows. OK, so longer it takes, it means that that probably we are approaching the multi year top here because we are already very, very late in this in this um, of this recovery compared to the previous cycle. So I would not be surprised if in the, let's say, maybe in 2023, we are going to see our reversal back to the downside. And obviously, that should be bullish for cryptos and also for other markets. OK, traders, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the commentary below on the trading view or if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, and I will um, try to get back to you with any answers. OK, traders, enjoy your day. Bye.